Now let's talk about using the shop drawings feature in the GDS WinBid Pro software. So there is a shop drawings option in the menu that actually begins the shop drawing process, which in actuality creates DWG files for you, but it basically compiles all the drawings in a job, all the details in a job together and creates uh, DWG CAD files with that. Or you can do DXF files as well. Um, so, or even PDF for that matter. <laughs> so let's actually see where those settings are. Drawing settings is what allows us to configure those types of things. So you'll see here, um, you have a choice for drawing file types between DWG and DXF, so it's one or the other there. And then you can always add in PDF files by checking this box, so you can have that in addition to one of the others. Um, so now, let's start at the top here. Arrange details, that means how many details do you want to appear on a given page? So typically you're going to want to maximize the details because most of the manufacturers that supply details have individual details of a component, like a head seal jam. And you're not going to want just one of those per sheet because that's kind of a waste of space and uh, paper when you print it. So you want to maximize your details per sheet. And the same thing goes for elevations. If you are doing small elevations, and you can always go in and change this, turn this on and off uh, as you need to. But with smaller elevations, even with 8.5 by 11 paper, you can, you can fit more than one per sheet. But uh, the, the larger your paper size, if you have a printer that goes to 11 by 17, and if you have a plotter that goes 24 by 36, you're going to want to definitely maximize elevations per sheet. And what we'll get into after this is the CAD software allows you to actually manipulate that too, but it's better to start with something that's closer to what you really want. So keep that in mind there. Um, the scale obviously determines how many uh, elevations can fit on a given page. So quarter scale is typical. Three eighths, obviously bigger drawings on the page, so you you're going to need a little bigger paper. And half inch, of course, you need very big paper. So. You can always change the scale here, and you can also also change it in your CAD software. So, um, so print preferences, and keep in mind the quarter scale is uh, how it's going to default if you just hit the print button in our program. So this kind of determines that as well. And so back to the print preferences down here, line thickness. If you see that when you print something, your lines seem a little light and faint, then go ahead and change it to heavy. If they seem a little too dark and you're wasting ink or toner, then go ahead and make it light. So you can manipulate that the way the drawings print just on your given printer. And line colors, so you can do your black and white printing just by default here, or you can tell it to do colors because you'll, as you remember, you know, there's a lot of colors on the drawings for the layers. So whether you want those or not, it's up to you. Uh, print preview, so when you actually just click print, down in this window here on the drawing window, that's what that's affecting. So whether you want to preview it or not is up to you here. And the orientation landscape is very typical because most elevations are wider than they are tall. So landscape is what it would default to typically. And then you've got all your other settings over here. So for the, so that's actually shop drawing settings. So uh, there's main elevation drawing settings that just affect the way the drawings appear in your drawing window. So take a minute to look through that stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we Unfortunately, we don't have uh, metric capabilities yet, but we do plan on implementing that uh, sometime in the future. We've obviously got more things on our plate, but uh, we're, we're not forgetting about it. And then your imperial accuracy for, for what the precision is of your drawing. 16th is very typical, but you can go to 132nds, and, uh, and your cut list should reveal those, uh, that accuracy as well. And again, to mention, this is where you would actually change your CAD program. And uh, if you do have your own CAD program, I could click here and I could browse to that actual executable file and select it. So if it's AutoCAD or um, Auto Sketch or AutoCAD Lite or TurboCAD, EasyCAD, FastCAD, there's a ton of CAD programs. Chances are you can install it and then find the, usually in the program files folder, find the file that actually starts that program. And then our program will start it when you click the CAD button from the menu. So uh, by default, this little new CAD one is what we include for free. So that's what all of my videos here are going to be talking about. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's the drawing settings. And 
if you do need to manipulate. Oh, one, one other thing to mention is the scaling here. Um, if you see that, if I point to one of these values here, it says enter a factor to adjust the scale up or down. So what this is is a way to fine tune the scale for a given printer. Sometimes one printer will print the scale a little differently than another, so you need to add a little factor that adjusts the scaling of the of the drawing to actually become true quarter inch or eighth or half or whatever you set it to. So just remember that you can manipulate that number and look at this little note so that you know the larger the number, the smaller the scale. So uh, you may or may not have to do that. Most printers, I think, do fine these days, but that capability is there just in case. And um, and then again, review these elevation drawing settings, the bubble sizes and things like that, the label sizes, you can affect uh, the way those appear on your drawings. And however they appear on the drawing in the program is how they're going to print. So, so keep that in mind as well. And so we'll have a couple more videos on the uh, actual CAD software itself with the shop drawing feature. So stay tuned.